Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am here to unbox the DS 120mm CPU cooler fan. Now off bat, the presentation is a negative. DS, keep in mind, if this was sitting on the shelves, just like that, no customer would not buy it because you have no picture presentation on what the product looked like. All the simple thing you have to do is print out the picture, put the picture on top, and voila. Customers could see what the product looked like. Customers could go ahead and buy it. We're sitting in the brown box, we don't know what it is. And it's very unappealing to understand what the product looks like. So this must always put a picture on the box so we can know what the product looks like. Alrighty, off the bat, let's get into the unboxing of the CPU cooler fan. Looks nice. You can't go wrong with it. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Now, the specs dimension, as you see, has no specs dimension on the box, but lucky I remembered them from the internet off Amazon.com. Specs for this fan are AM4 as well as Intel. Socket compatibility are LGA775, LGA1150. 1156, 1151, and LGA 1366. For AMD, AM4 motherboards, AM3, AM3+, AM2, AM2+, plus, FM2, and FM1, as well as AM1. Now, keep in mind that it has only two heat pipes. It feels heavy, you know, not not light. That's a good thing about it, so I can go ahead and give them credit on that. Now, keep in mind, it is not PWM. It only three-pin connects, so it's not PWM, which that's not a big, big plus. That's a big negative right there, so it should have been PM4, PWM. So you can go ahead on and monitor the um, control of the fans as well as the temps. Now, <clears throat> keep in mind you got these clamp brackets on. If you're doing AM, if you're doing AMD motherboards, you just go ahead and mount it onto the clamp already on the board. If you're doing Intel, you use. use this bracket here which is I kind of like because here you go ahead on and crank it in all directions you want to mount it in so you go here or if the mounts are there you can go there so that's a good thing now these little holes right the little notches right there as you see that last one here is for 1366 the second one in the middle is for your 1150 plus LGAs, and the last one is it for your socket LGA 775. That's a big plus. Now, keep in mind now, if you try to mount the um, everything all in the case, you're trying to mount this on last, please don't because you won't have access to the bracket. Up top, as you know, once you put it all in, you won't be able to access it. So it's good to go ahead on and mount everything on to the motherboard before you put the motherboard into the case. Also, keep in mind to also peel this off into the back, so you can go ahead on and apply your thermal paste and accelerate. If you leave it on, you're gonna cause damage. It's gonna plastic gonna melt. Your CPU is gonna heat up. External heat inside and. <clears throat> It's going to cause issues. Here, you got your thermal paste they provide, which I'll be using my own. The, uh, the Arctic uh, thermal paste. You got your clamps. You got your uh, locking um, knots. So, those are accessories that comes with it. So, let's go ahead and get into the... Um, 
the fan connect in. Now it does has RPM of 1900, so it is loud. Let's put my mic to it. It is loud. So just go ahead and keep that in mind. You get about 50 decibels, so that's pretty on the loud side, but so far it is, it's cooling because I can feel all the cool air all the way back by my hand way over here. So yeah, it is cool. Um, what I recommend this fan for builds, yes. The only builds I would recommend this fan for since it has two thermal design pipes and the thermal design power on that is no more than 100 watt TDP. And you could go ahead and connect it to a Ryzen 5 um, 2 cores, 2 thread um, CPUs, no higher than 100 watt TDP. You can connect it to the Ryzen 5 3600. Which is not bad. It cools it because the thermal design, the, uh, the Ryzen 5 3600 is 65 watt thermal design power. So it's pretty much like the um, Wraith cooler, but just a little quieter. Uh, I'll be putting the link in the description below if y'all want to go ahead and purchase this fan for basic builds. Um, it only cools off two cores, two threads, or two cores, four threads. And keep that in mind. So don't go over um, 65 watt thermal design power or 100 watts. Now, when that's like I said, the thermal design power I recommend is close to 100 watts. I advise y'all not to exceed over that. If you do, it's gonna go ahead and have a lot of heat in your computer as well. But other than that, this is a nice, good fan. I would recommend this fan. I like the, the feel of it. It feels heavy. It feels heavy. Y'all excuse that this Molex power is going in and out. So y'all excuse that though. But just like I said, it feels heavy. You got your nice. You got your nice little simple LED RGB lights. There's no strokes. No control, just simple RGB light, which is good. Um, I will recommend this product for basic builds only. Um, if you have an um, Intel uh, two-core, two-thread, core duo processor, or any um, two-core, two-thread processor, such as the um, Athlon, Eight uh, X2s. I will recommend this here CPU cooler for those type processors. No higher than 65 watt thermal design power. Thank y'all for watching this video. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. I will see y'all in the next one. Y'all enjoy. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed night.